we're asked to express r as a function of v. That basically means we want to rewrite this as if it was an equation and get r by itself. So v equals 4 thirds times pi times r to the third. The first thing I'm do, going to do is get rid of the fraction. I'm going to multiply both sides by 3 fourths. Keeps it balanced because I'm doing the same thing to both sides of the equation. So we got 3 fourths v equals now 3 fourths and 4 thirds. Cancels out just like we designed it to. So it equals pi times r to the third. And then we're trying to get r by itself. So you could divide pi from both sides, but I find it's easier for students to think about it as multiplying by 1 over pi because when you do that to both sides, you can see where the pi fits in. You can just stick it next to the 4 down there. So that's 3 over 4 times pi, and then the v is out here. And then the last step is to get rid of that third power. So we can use the properties of exponents, powers on top of powers multiply. And I'm going to raise both sides to the one-third power. Because if you do that, this one-third power is on top of this power of three. They multiply to give us just r. And so over here on the left side, we have three. You can put the v up there. You can put it at the side. doesn't matter where. OK, so here's how I'd type that in Mobius. I would put the v up top for Mobius just so I don't have to have some uh, separate extra prints. Oops, sorry, I forgot my one-third. All right, we use one-third power to both sides. Um, it's the same as this. It's going to be easier to type it in in this form. That way we have a clear numerator and denominator. We don't have to write an extra number off to the side. That's our answer. Uh, anytime I do a fraction in Mobius, I type a parentheses, and then a division symbol, the slash key, and then another parentheses. Okay. This is my numerator. This is the top of my parentheses. So 3 times v. And that it needs to be capital V like they have here. And that's being divided by 4 times pi. And in Mobius, you type in pi as capital P, lowercase i. And then, uh, according to our notation, the whole thing is supposed to be raised to the 1 3rd power. So let's make a parentheses wrapping around this entire thing. And then use the shift key and press 6 to get the caret key. That, that lets Mobius know an exponent's coming. And since it's a fraction, I'm going to protect the fraction with parentheses to make sure Mobius knows it's this entire thing that's raising this, uh, this number to a power. Okay, so that's how you type in your answer in Mobius. Oh, and then the other part is find the radius of the sphere with a volume of 200. This one, we don't have to keep the exact answer. We can type it in a calculator. So the volume is 200. So I'm plugging in 200 in for V. So 200 times 3, divide that 4 in the denominator, and then I'm going to hit Enter. And I'm going to hit Divide Pi, and then hit Enter again. So I did 3 times 200, divide 4, Enter, divide Pi, Enter. And now this whole thing needs to be raised to the 1 3rd power. So I'm going to hit this key to get my exponent. And then my exponent's 1 3rd repeating. So if we need to round to two decimal places, my answer is 3.63.